All right, you guys, animal cuts today. So this is actually the second time that I've taken animal cuts. I'm down to my very last pack. Now, if you've never taken an animal product before, there's going to be, uh, you know, in the store, a little rim right here. It actually looks exactly like a tennis ball can if you've ever opened one of those. But inside, you're going to find a whole bunch of these little guys. So in the new animal cuts, which is what these are, there's uh, nine pills a packet. I think it used to be 11 last time I took this stuff. So it's it's a handful of pills there. Uh, and, you know, the first couple days, I was taking like two or three at a time. Now I just pop them all in one handful. So um, last time I took these, uh, it was probably three or four years ago, just about. And I dropped a couple pounds. I didn't really change my diet at all. Um, and I'm not going to talk about energy levels because I've trashed my body with so much caffeine in the past that I don't really feel any caffeine anymore. But quality wise, I think it's a heck of a product. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, definitely a lot of your initial weight loss is going to come from a, maybe a pound or two of water weight. Last time, maybe that's all it was because there is a water shedding complex in here. It uses dandelion root. That's one of the things that I like a lot about this is pretty much, let me just read you a few. Uh, juniper berry fruit, white tea leaf extract, oolong tea, um, grapefruit, ginger root, cayenne. Uh, so you can see, you know, it's just a couple of celery seed, whatever that is. But a lot, a lot, a lot of the ingredients are just like from nature. They're herbal and things of that nature. So um, makes you want to feel a little less skeptical than... Seen a bunch of, uh, you know, chemical ingredient names and everything like that. So that being said, there is, I believe, 210 milligrams of caffeine per pack on here. Uh, it doesn't directly say on the label, which is a little concerning. I'm pretty sure it's a legal requirement. If you have caffeine, you have to specify exactly how much caffeine is in the product. So um, I don't see it. I don't think I'm overeating it. But I think if you Google it or go to their website, it is on there. I think it's 210 a pack. You're taking two packs a day, that's 18 pills, that's 420 milligrams of caffeine a day, which is a lot. I'm not going to talk about the energy levels, like I said, because I'm not going to feel it. But, um, so I did have to pretty much quit drinking energy drinks and taking pre-workout. You can take one of these pre-workout instead. Uh, first time I took it, I lost a couple pounds. This time, I've dropped my calories significantly, so that's probably the main cause. But I think that this helped me to do it. I'm taking two supplements. I'm taking this, well, three, a multivitamin and something called 5-HTP, which is for appetite uh, suppression and mood levels and stuff like that. So between this and that 5-HTP and the multivitamin, uh, in the past about three weeks now, it's a three-week supply here. It's been a couple days longer. I forgot to take a pack here and there. But uh, past three weeks, I've dropped almost 10 pounds even. I started out at 210 point something. This is my last pack, and I am now at 203.6. So, dropped about 10 pounds even in three weeks. That's really good. Once again, mostly due to the calories. But I have no doubt that this helped a little bit with my appetite. And probably when I stop taking this, I'm not going to be sh shedding water at the same rate. So, I might put another pound or so back on, but I'm sure nothing crazy. So, that's it. I know a lot of you guys have uh, messed around with animal products. So if you have, list it down in the comments below what you've had, how you felt about it, and if you've had these, give us some feedback as well.